Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got another great free animation for you today. We've got a lot of animation here. We've downloaded it, it's free, and we're using a free module to display it from Divi Supreme Lite, which is also a free plugin. Now we've covered these before. We've showed you how to download them with an iframe and add them to a code module. Divi Supreme Lite has actually got its own module for doing this and it gives you a little more functionality. And Divi Supreme Lite, like I say, is absolutely free and I think it comes with about 20 or so little modules here and four extensions also. And I'll put these links below the video. For the actual animation itself, we're over at Lottie Files here. And I'll put this down below. I'm going to use a free one today. Simply go to Discover and Free Animations. Type in what you're looking for, or just browse through if you prefer. Let's find one with some people in it. Okay, and there's the one we just used. Let's perhaps take a different one. What I'm going to do is go to my page. Once you've downloaded Divi Supreme Lite, install it. And once you've installed it, you'll see it there in your little dashboard in the menu. If you click on it, it'll take you to the extensions page and we'll be covering these in further videos. But today, all you need to do is install and activate it. Go to your page. Let's enable the Visual Builder. I'm gonna delete the file that's here. And we'll start from scratch. I've got a section here. Inside it, I've got a row with two columns. Obviously, structure yours how you need to. I'm gonna add a new module by Clicking the little dark button here. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules here. When you install Divi Supreme Light, here's the 20 modules that you get with it, the dark blue ones here. And there's more Divi regular ones right down the bottom here. If you have WooCommerce installed, Divi will also give you another dozen or so modules to display your products with. Okay, and if we look up here, we're looking for Supreme Lottie files. And there's our Supreme Lottie right there. I'm simply going to click on it. And it's going to ask us if we want to upload a Lottie JSON file. So let's go and choose a file from Lottie. Back to their site here. Let's go for a different one today, perhaps. We'll grab this one. Now, to download as a Lottie JSON file, you'll have to sign up for a free account. They don't spam you. And I've been a member for a couple of years and I haven't had anything other than a couple of emails from them so don't worry about them spamming you it's absolutely free okay and when when you're ready hit the download button and I'm going to download a Lottie JSON file last time we did this we did it for a computer we just did HTML and built it as an iframe this one just gives you a little more functionality as you can see it's downloaded my JSON file to my browser here I'm using Google Chrome if you're not using Chrome, yours is going to download to your default download location, which is usually in your documents in My Downloads. Okay, now we've downloaded it. Let's go back to our page. Hit the Upload Lottie JSON file button. I'm simply going to drag this up here and drop it, or you can browse to it if you prefer. And let's hit the Upload Adjacent File button. Great, and there's our little animation there. It looks quite good. Almost fits in with my color scheme too. And I don't know if you noticed when we were there, you can actually customize these slightly, changing the colors and things if you want to down here in color palettes. Okay, so we've got our file there. I want it to loop, in other words, I want it to keep going and going and going. Don't want any delay, I want it to start as soon as the, the page loads. You've got an option to reverse it if you prefer. That's actually going the other way now. I'll put it back to forward, normal. You can make it go faster by moving this to the right. We're at one at the moment, which is normal speed. If you want it faster, just pull it to the right. 1.5 or if you want it slower pull it to the left obviously 
0.5. That's pretty cool. Animating viewport, the amount that it's going to animate, I'm going to take that up to 100%. I want the animations to be exaggerated as possible. If you want to link this module, in other words, if they hover their mouse over it and you want them to click on it and take them somewhere, you can put your link in here. Simply put your link in there. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, open it in the same window. If you're linking off-site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. If you want to add a background color, you can do so here, or gradient, or image, or text. Just select the color you want, pop it in the background there. I'm happy with the way it was. Either put a white or transparent, or hit the trash can and take that background away. Great. That's pretty much all we want to do. You can make it bigger or smaller. At the moment, it's taking up 100% of the width of the column there. You can make it a little bit smaller, but if you make it smaller, it's a good idea to have it in the middle, so you can align it in the middle there. I'm happy for mine to be full size, though. Nice little option to have. You can set minimum and maximum heights if you want to. I'm really not going to change that at all. Spacing-wise, that's really margin and padding don't need any of that there if you wanted to put a board around it obviously you can here and like all Divi modules you can do all borders at once top right bottom or left simply set the thickness of the border that you want there and then the color that you want your border and you've got the usual style solid dotted dashed grooved I'm gonna leave mine just like that and I'm not sure I actually need a border but it's an option and of course you can add box shadow, like you can with any other Divi module. And that's going to get people's attention pretty quickly. It's a nice thing to have on your site, and it's a free feature. So let's save our changes and make sure this is going to work on the front end. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. There is our little animated Lottie file. And like I say, we downloaded that as a JSON and we've used the free Divi Supreme Lite module to put it on our page. And again, I'll put the Divi Supreme Lite link down below and also the Lottie animations down below. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a nice animation to your site using the free Lottie files and using the free Supreme Lite plugin. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And don't forget, we'll be doing more videos on this in the future, and I'll be going over some of these extensions as well as some of the other modules in the Divi Supreme Lite. And if you like Divi Supreme Lite, check out the link below. It's an affiliate link if you want to check out the Pro, which has 40 or 50 modules. You can find more information down there. And if you like the Pro, take a look at my Divi Supreme Pro on the playlist page for plenty of videos on that. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.